I'm Nick Orth, Senior Marketing Manager for Residential Marketing. As our industry approaches the change to new refrigerants, you should know that the EPA is handling the phase out of old refrigerants and products a little differently. Unlike previous refrigerant transitions, the phase down of the production of R410A is already underway. We'll see an additional 30% reduction in 2024, and while previous phase downs took around 10 years, the bulk of this phase down will take place by the end of 2029. This will ultimately impact the pricing and availability of R410A, and reclaimed refrigerant will likely be more prevalent. Sell-through is being handled differently during this transition. In 2025, we'll need to distinguish between a product and a system. The rules for each are different. A product can be defined as being functional upon leaving the factory. Think about a window air conditioner, refrigerators, commercial rooftop units, and residential package units. A refrigerant system sealed from the factory. These types of products will have a three-year sell-through window after the manufacturer restriction date of December 31st, 2024. A system is defined as being assembled and charged in the field using multiple components and includes both residential and commercial split systems, both ducted and ductless applications. The EPA is not restricting the manufacturer, import, sale, distribution, or export of components that are used in repairing existing systems, and those components may be used indefinitely. In 2025, a new system installation can be an R410A system as long as the components of the system were manufactured in 2024. Otherwise, systems installed in 2025 and beyond will need to be new low GWP systems for both residential new construction as well as replacing a residential system. For repairing existing R410A systems, you're allowed to replace individual components throughout the life of the system at separate times. The outdoor unit by itself is a component. The indoor coil or air handler by itself is a component. As we move towards the January 1st, 2025 effectivity date for new refrigerants, talk to your distributors and their training teams to ensure your business is ready for the new refrigerants, up to speed on best practices for installation, and clearly understand the difference in a component replacement compared to a system replacement. For more information on best practices and how to best support your teams, visit Allied Air Academy.